within the four days uh, pause, uh, in each day there will be an obligation in each side, an obligation on the Israelis and an obligation on Hamas, making sure that they're going to fulfill those obligations in each day. So in each day we aim to have a number of releases. Uh, because the number is big, so we try, the, we've managed to get uh, the parties to agree on the releases uh, systematically. In other words, there will be an organized schedule allowing the releases in each day, and each party is quite familiar now with their obligations. Ten hostages released on day one, for example? Of a minimum, a minimum of ten. Who will be released? So this agreement specifically focuses on... Uh, civilian women and children uh, in each side, in both sides. And we hope that within the four days, we will be able to uh, complete the release of uh, uh, women and children in both sides, moving to the safe side, uh, away from this war. By the first hours of the agreements, we will be notified of the official list of, uh, of people in each day. And by having that list, we will make sure that we notify either the, uh, the, the the size, the parties themselves, or even the uh, countries that have their hostages uh, in, in, the, in the Gaza Strip currently. Hamas has said it doesn't have all the hostages and it needs time to get around to gather information about hostages that it doesn't help hold and find out where they are. Many have called that just a talking point, a cynical ploy to buy time. The obligation on Hamas on the first day is very clear. They need to provide us with that list. Uh, they've been granted that period of calm, and not only the period of calm, but also preventing any military clashes, a ground invasion, air surveillance, that will provide them with the room to provide us with that commitment.